With the new Compose Navigation release, uh, now we get a full type safe system based on a Kotlin X uh, serialization library. No more string routes when defining your destinations, and no more string routes when trying to navigate to a specific destination either. I'm uh, quickly gonna show you a new way of uh, setting up navigation in your app, and also how to use the basic uh, Kotlin constructs like uh, data objects and the uh, classes to pass even uh, custom objects between screens. Although you should minimize the usage of uh, passing complex objects whenever possible, and uh, use uh, primitive values instead. Stay tuned. First, be sure to include at least version 2.8.0 alpha 08 for your navigation library. And we also need a Kotlin X serialization dependency along with its plugin. Because the new release depends on it. When defining a screen destinations, we can also use the seal classes like we did before, only this time we don't have to declare string routes that often caused a runtime exception when we misspelled a single character. Instead, now we can simply define our objects and the data classes. When a destination doesn't require any argument, you can use a simple data object. And when you need to pass an argument, use data class instead. Primitive values are supported by default, which means you can do something like this without any additional overhead. However, if you need to pass a complex object, then you need to configure a custom nav type. But I'm gonna show you that a little bit later. Also, don't forget to add a serializable annotation on both of those destinations, because the new release of the navigation library depends on it. For now, create a nav graph in this project. We no longer have to pass uh, string values for the start destination. Instead, we can pass a whole Kotlin object. Then, when uh, defining destinations in this navigation graph, we don't need to add uh, string routes or explicitly declare uh, nav arguments. Instead, we just declare the screen type and that's it. When retrieving an argument, we can use uh, backstack entries route function, which allows us to extract the whole screen object and just grab its parameters that we have passed. Pretty convenient. Now, let's try running this uh, simple application so we can make sure that uh, everything works uh, as expected. As you can see, when we click the home screen, we are uh, immediately generating a random number and uh, passing that number as an argument to the profile screen. Perfect. Now, about the complex uh, data types. I have tried uh, following the official documentation regarding this uh, new release. However, I have stumbled upon an error and uh, couldn't properly implement that logic for uh, passing a whole object. So, I'm not sure if I did something wrong or whether this uh, new release, uh, which is still in alpha, somehow doesn't work. Never mind, I'm just gonna show you right now and you can let me know in the comment section below. For example, let's create here a custom data class, user. This class can have uh, three properties, id, name and age. Let's add this uh, new type as a property of the profile screen class, instead of that uh, simple integer value. When declaring objects that are not supported by the nav type, then we need to declare a, a custom one on our own. But don't worry, it's not that hard. However, before that we need to make sure that we add the one more extra plugin, Kotlin Parcelize. Then we need to mark our user class with a Parcelize annotation and also implement a, a parcelable interface. We also need to add a, a serializable annotation, because this a user class is a parameter of a screen profile class, which also uses this uh, same annotation. Down below, I'm gonna create a variable and uh, add an anonymous object nav type of a user type. Here, we just uh, need to override the three functions and the one property. That's all. Now, go back to the navigation graph and uh, let's pass this uh, custom nav type to the composable function of a destination that accepts the complex data type argument. Great. So, this approach uh, should be working, however, if I now launch the application and try to navigate to the profile screen, uh, then I get an exception. 
If it's not up to me, then this issue will be definitely resolved in the near future. Otherwise, be sure to comment down below and let me know if you have tried this approach yet. But, I repeat once again, you should avoid passing a complex objects between screens, instead you should use primitive values when possible. And that's it for this video, I hope you like where the official navigation library is uh, going with this new release. Because this uh, API is uh, far better than the one where we had to write uh, destination routes as a string values instead. Also, don't forget to leave a like, but only if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.